Keith, can I try giving you some candy from my home country? Okay. Are you willing to try it? Wow. So this is what it looked like when white people used to come to black and Latin countries bearing gifts and acting like they were our friends, but the whole time they plotting to take everything that we have. The more times change, the more they stay the same. That just triggered my ancestral PTSD. See, they actually study the things that we're most afraid of. See, they put fear in us to keep us away from our true power so they can use it against us. See, they talk about energy. They talk about magic. They talk about rituals. They talk about certain um, entities helping them out and things like that. But because we've been programmed through the television, through the media, through all these movies they put out with this fear factor behind it, that we never tap into that. And if someone was to wake you up and say, hey, they're lying to us. We really the ones with the power. That person is going to be Mark is crazy. That's how well it's working. All right now, all right now. Shalom, shalom, family. It's the brother Zachariah coming back to you, man, with another uh, walk and talk lesson, man. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory and praise now that I'm facing the east. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you, brothers out here laboring you know out on the highways and byways enduring the elements uh making your body a living sacrifice trying to seal the elect and I, while also making uh, your calling and election ensure you know by doing doing the work uh shalom to you sisters you know out here man that are learning listening or applying being obedient to your husbands shalom to you again it's the brother zachariah coming back to you with another walk and talk lesson uh and uh I'm going to call this one uh, neither uh, keep it at home. And, um, you know, uh, just want to go into like Esau. Like I, I watched uh, this video clip, man, uh, you know, that I'm going to put here in the beginning. You know how uh, it showed uh, Esau going over there into Africa, you know, which we got Jake's over there, you know, amongst uh, Ham, you know, various parts of Africa. Because, you know, Africa is a really big continent, but this devil has a... Uh, He's tampered with maps, and uh, he's also even made uh, countries look very, very, or not countries, but uh, continents look very smaller than what they really are. And uh, he even made, like, Europe, you know, because Europe wasn't even his land, but he made it look really big on, on some of these world maps. But this man has uh, been all, all over the world, man, you know, oppressing the people. You know, not just uh, us Israelites, but... Uh, He's uh, done done this to all the other nations. That's why these nations are mad and they're starting to uh, rise up and buck up against this devil because he's losing power and he knows it. So this devil, uh, he's got a little scheme, man, you know, which we have went into it, you know, as far as the banking system, you know, you've seen all these banks collapse and things like that. And uh, because this devil's going his last his end all be all is the MOTB, you know, which we've been uh bringing out you know on, on countless lessons and stuff like that you know that's that's the last result you know of this devil you know but uh enough rambling i want to go ahead and pull out a scripture real quick i'm gonna go to the book of habakkuk uh chapter chapter two and i'm gonna start at verse four i'm gonna read on down i think i'm gonna probably go down to like verse uh 12 you know it's a lot of good stuff man in habakkuk so just give me a second real quick family as i pull it up all right here we go behold his soul which is lifted uh up is not uh upright in him yeah this devil is, is he's not right man but the just shall live by faith that's the israelites yeah also because he transgressive by wine he is a proud man he is the most proud man Nobody, nobody beats this man, you know, uh, you know, everything about him. He'll say Ameri American pride, his military, it's got pride in it, everything, gay pride, all that stuff, man. This is, he's a proud man. Neither keep it at home. See, that's what I wanted right there. Who enlarged his uh, desire as hell and as, as death and cannot be satisfied. See, this is, he can't be satisfied. But gather unto him all nations, and heap up unto him all people. And he has done this by way of wars and things like that. Uh, shall not all these take up a parable against him? See, it's all going to come back on him. 
in a taunting proverb against him and say woe to him that increaseth that which is not his how long and to him that uh lateth himself with thick clay that's what this devil man has done man shall not uh shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee and thou shall be for booties unto them <laughs> because thou because thou hast spoiled many nations and this this devil has spoiled many nations uh which i'm gonna get into that here in a little bit all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city and all of that uh dwell therein woe to him that that covereth all an evil covetousness to his house you know that's one of uh the commandments is not to covet your neighbor you know and even though we know it's going to the israelites but these other nations hey you you know you're gonna pay for doing doing that and and the most covetous man on this planet is esau edom you know the so-called white man you know covet to uh covetness to his house that he may set his nest on high yeah we know this devil is uh you know even went into space and everything as well you know that he may be delivered from the power of evil uh thou hast consulted shame to thy house uh by cutting off many people but see this is what this devil has done man and has sinned against thy soul for the stone shall cry out of the wall and the beam out of the timber shall answer it woe to him that built up a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity and this is the so-called white man if this isn't the so-called white man then i don't know um you know what's up he is the most covetous man on the planet like i said and he's never satisfied he always wants what's um not his man you know and i looked up the uh, the definition of covetousness and um and it says this it says the feeling of having a strong desire for the things that other people have and this is a strong desire this man has a strong desire for the things that other people have you know and um like i said the scriptures speak on on uh you know that you're not to be a uh, covetous man and um that's in the book of uh exodus chapter uh 20 verse uh 17 and i can pull that up real quick just to read it yeah man You know, there's people that there's people to this day still believing that, uh, you know, um, Esau was the so-called Arabs. The Arabs are not going around the world doing this, man. This is Esau, man. OK, Exodus 20 and verse 17. Thou shall not uh, covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shall not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. And Esau has done this, man. Esau has done this, man. Steal your bread. Then they hand you a crumb of it. Then they demand that you thank them for their generosity. Oh, their audacity. Yet we are the uncivilized ones. You know, I actually got some um, some information here that I wanted to uh, pull out real quick. You know, I always... I'm always, you know, researching and looking up things, you know, just out of curiosity. And um, there was this little information that says countries, U.S. has bombed since World War II, you know. And, you know, and that's just going into that. You know, there's no telling what all the, you know, going back into all the other stuff this devil has done. You know, going into these other countries and conquering it. But once this devil got a hold of bombs, it says uh, the U.S. is said to have uh, been involved in 32 distinct and separate bombing campaigns on 24 different countries between 1945 and 1999 and that's just that you know it's got china on here guatemala indonesia cuba guatemala belgian congo guatemala uh what is that guatemala again is on the list dominican republic peru laos vietnam cambodia look guatemala again uh, Lebanon, Grenada, Libya, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Iran, Libya, look, Panama again, Iraq, Kuwait, Somalia, Bosnia, Iran again, Sudan, Afghanistan, Yugoslavia, Afghanistan again, Libya again, Iraq and Syria again, Somalia, Iran, see, 
They just kept going back into these countries and bombing them and stuff like that. This is what this devil has done, man. He's he and 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 that's the you know the ones that's been recorded. That's probably secret things that this devil has done. You know, <laughs> you know this is Esau to a T, and definitely you know he wanted what the Israelites had. You know he crossed the uh, many oceans to uh to come over here and get what uh, Gad and them had, the Northern Kingdom. You know, and put them into there captivity. was a Spanish explorer who went down the Amazon River system in 1541 to 1542. He was the first European to cross the entire length of South America from west to east uh, along the Amazon. He reported seeing incredible cities, advanced arts and crafts, millions of people, a thriving culture. Uh, and a hundred years later, when other Europeans got into the Amazon, they couldn't find these cities. So they said, "Oh, Francisco Oriana, that was his name, made it all up. It was just a, it was just a fantasy." And and then in the last decade, as the clearances of the Amazon have proceeded, we've begun to see the traces of those cities. What happened was that the Spaniards brought smallpox into the Amazon. Smallpox devastated the local population because there was no immunity to it. There was a massive die-off. The cities were deserted. Within a 50 years, they were completely overgrown by the jungle, and that's why they were not seen by the explorers who came in 100 years later. But now the jungle's being cleared. Those cities are emerging. You know, there was a clip uh, from um, a movie, uh, Planet of the Apes, that made me think about, uh, you know, what that devil has done. You know, it exposes him, you know. What I know of man was written long ago, set down by the greatest ape of all, our lawgiver. Cornelius, come here. Reach into my pocket. Read to him the 29th scroll, sixth verse. Beware the beast man, for he is the devil's pawn. Alone among God's primates, he kills for sport, or lust, or greed. Yea, he will murder his brother to possess his brother's land. Let him not breed in great numbers, for he will make a desert of his home and yours. Shun him. Drive him back into his jungle lair. For he is the harbinger of death. All right. This is Micah 2 and 2. And they covet fields and take them by violence in houses and take them away so that they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. And that's what they've done to the uh, to the tribes, man. You know, starting with Gad on down, you know, that the Carib all the Caribbean islands and, um, you know, uh, from Canada all the way down to uh, South America. You know, that's what this devil has done. Suficiente. Mucha arena. Venga, llevároslo. A podar. Tú, vamos.
you know this is why it's, the scriptures also says um you know when the wicked bear of rule the people mourn and see they're ruling right now you know according to uh job 9 24 the wicked are ruling you know it also tells you you know in uh second ezra you know esau is the end so he's ruling right now we're in the end times you know and um you know so when the people People, when a wicked bear fool, the people mourn, which they're in mourning right now. But when um, the righteous are in authority, which are the Israelites, you know, the people rejoice. So the people are not rejoicing right now because the Israelites are not in power. When we're in power, even these other nations, these heathen nations, you know, of course, we're going to put them under our foot. But at the same time, they're going to rejoice because they're going to get their lands back, their resources. The earth is going to move in its full capacity because it, it's not really giving uh yielding its strength over to this devil why because you know they're going back to cain you know so yeah man you know but he came over here to the tribes and his words man were smooth as butter you know that's uh you know but war was in his heart you know but he also but he came bearing gifts and all that just like it clip you know in the beginning you know what he did over there in africa which i believe that guy was a jake you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, we do have ham, you know, over there, you know, but there are, there are a lot of Jakes too. All right, y'all. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were, yet were they drawn swords. Hey. You know, and that's why, and that's his blessing too. That was the blessing Isaac gave Esau, which was the sword. Said that by thy sword shall I live. And that's how this devil has, uh, you know, gained power. You know, of course, uh, he's also the sword of uh, Yahweh. You know, but this devil uh, has gained this gained power over the earth by you by way of the sword. You know, and but this devil came with smooth words, man. Uh, and if you know anything about the nation of Israel, our people also love to hear smooth things. And that's how he, he was able to uh, uh, beguile them. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, when the men of the Lord, we stand out here on these highways and byways and we warn our people, they don't want to hear what we got to say. They say, tell us smooth things. Give us deceit, you know. But this devil, he came with smooth words but and then took over the whole country. Uh, whole, um continent he took over the americas man you know so and our people it's crazy our people complain about being oppressed but they won't never say anything about the oppressor you know when we come out and we expose and tell you who our oppressor is and our people don't want to hear that they say oh no, no, no god loves everybody you know but this devil is he has taken over the world man and oppressing all the people all nations not like i said not just the israelites but all these other countries but uh they're beginning to uh expose this devil and point the finger at him you know it tells you in the scriptures that we would uh we would uh find out in the last days who the man of the sin of the man of sin is you know which is a so-called white man esau advocating for criminal activity, Quanell. These people are not here lawfully. They need to do what our ancestors did, what many Mexicans have done. No, 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 what no, many, no, no, no. Wait what a minute. Many, many, don't interrupt your me. Your ancestors I, came here illegally. Wasn't nothing okay. legal about your ancestors. Listen. They came illegally and they murdered, they raped, they pillaged a whole race of people. This country, Texas, Arizona, California, belongs okay. to Mexicans. Quanell, get back it was to the stole point. from get, them. You so tell when me you to get back to the point. They came no, 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 here no. you're not being fair to me here. You say stay on topic. I say, okay, we'll stay on topic. And then as soon as we start talking about <laughs> illegal immigration, you go back to, to the black issue. Let's stay on topic. Your ancestors right are me, the master illegal immigrants. Give me the opportunity to respond in that, you know what? We're all Americans here. And if you are here legally, absolutely. Then we need to come together and we need to pass good laws for enforcing the law. Well, perhaps okay. the Native Americans should have passed and laws against your ancestors. We, we speaking out against them. You know, the scriptures also tell you, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it, you know. And it's not just talking about set your face at the, the actual location, uh, you know, which is modern day uh, considered uh, called uh, Petra, you know. But uh, it's not saying set your face there, wherever this devil is dwelling. And this devil's everywhere, you know. He's taken over, you know, everything, you know. And, and he's oppressed the people, you know. There was the clip uh, with, with, with Gad, man, and um, the man, uh, uh, you know, and they were trying to uh, get put uh, Gad on reservations. 
And Gab was like, man, we're good, you know? And and then uh, they were like, uh, you ain't got to uh, hunt buffalo and they, you know, and all this stuff. And, and then he was trying to get this land and he's like, did you buy it? And they're like, no, you know, because they kept saying it was the U.S. government's. And he's like, you know, but they didn't purchase it. So he said, it's not yours. But, you know, you can't tell this devil that because they believe wherever they go and whatever they, you know, they set foot on, it's theirs. And if you don't want to just hand it over to them, them devils is going to come at you with the sword, you know. So, you know, that's just the mindset of this devil, man. You know, they have uh, rape, rob, murder, pillage, you know all these corn, uh, countries and hoarded all the resources man you know that's the mindset of Esau Edom and this is why we um, we speak out against this devil man and, and, and let our people know you know this devil not to keep it at home you know what I'm saying you know he he keeps all the resources to himself you know he in matter of fact he don't even really want to um, share with his own people you know like the uh the Amalekites, those are the ones, that's the head family, you know, which technically is the grandson of Esau, Amalek, you know. But uh, this is why a lot of the uh, uh, other Edomites are speaking out. They're, they're speaking out against their own people, you know, Esau, you know. That's why the scriptures tell you about the Egyptian, set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. You know, it's not talking about the, I mean, it was, back then it was talking about the Egyptians, but, uh, you know, the actual Egyptians which a lot of them are your uh, modern days, the Sudanese people, you know, and, and they're in other countries and scattered. They've been scattered and stuff. That was one of their punishments for having us in captivity. But, uh, you know, uh, it's talking about the modern day Egyptians, you know, because this land is, uh, this land uh, here, uh, Babylon, so-called America, is uh, Egypt, it's spiritual Egypt. And Sodom, because, you know, they push the alphabet lifestyle too. But it's, uh, you know, they, uh, this is uh, Babylon, man. And it's a uh, modern spiritual Egypt. And um, so when it says uh, set the Egyptian against the Egyptian, it's talking about, uh, you know, you can apply that to today because it's talking about the so-called white man. And they're, they're booking up against each other. And it's been going on for a while. You know, this is why, like, whenever someone speaks out, certain ones, like, especially if they're like a so-called leader or something, they'll get assassinated. You know, you had that uh, guy that wrote the book, The 13th Tribe, uh, you know, him and his wife, supposedly they said that they committed suicide and jumped out a window. Come on now. <laughs> we know Esau done that. He sent he sent a hit out on them, you know, for exposing them like that, you know, letting you he was letting you know that they're not the people, you know. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, bring out uh, a couple more scriptures here real quick. I'm going to go to the book of Job, chapter 20. Uh, give me a second, y'all. You know, I got my hands full because I was running down here to the store. and uh, But I said I wanted to do a walk and talk lesson while I'm out here. And let's see. Job, chapter 20, and verse 15. All right. Give me a second as I pull this up. Okay. And it says, he hath swallowed down riches. And he shall vomit them up again. God shall cast them out of his belly. And that's that's true. You know, this devil has took riches and resources from all these countries, especially the uh, nation of Israel. They got a lot of our stuff in, in, the, uh, in their vault. They got, a uh, you know, in the Vatican. And a lot of these scholars have seen a lot of the stuff, you know, that, that's down there. You know, these devils and no telling. They probably got other places where they're hiding our stuff. You know, they probably gonna they probably transporting it to them bunkers that they're gonna be in. The elites, they they taking all of our stuff, man. Cause these devils are hoarders, man, and covetous. Like I told you earlier, you know that's a that was one of the ten commandments, not to be covetous, man. And that's what these that's what these devils is all about, man. You know, but you know, Yahweh's gonna get them. You know, they're gonna have to give that back, man. All right, and this is uh this is another scripture here. This is a uh, Job uh, in the same chapter, Job twenty, uh, in uh, verse twenty three. You know, moving on down, and it says, "When he is about to fill his belly, God shall cast the fury of wrath upon him, and shall rain uh rain it upon him while he is eating." You know, and this devil's eating. 
this devil is eating, man. He's eating right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's got all these resources. He's hoarding all this stuff. And this devil is eating and getting getting his belly full, you know, being a glutton. And that's when you, I was going to cast out that, that fury upon him, you know. And, you know, he's doing it now. You know what I'm saying? But at its climax, it, uh, this devil, man, is going to have to vomit all that up, man. He's going to have to hand that hand that back. And this and this devil knows it, man. That's why this devil thinks he's going to uh, fight you. How was I and defeat him? But he's not, you know. But, yeah, this devil, man, he just um, went into all types of countries and oppressed our people. And, you know, this is why we expose him, man. We expose him for who he is, man. Because he's a straight-up devil. He's a straight-up demon. And he has oppressed our people, man. You know, all the tribes, man. So... This is the time that we're in is to expose this devil, you know, set that face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it, man. You know, this devil, this devil's his spirit ain't right, man, you know, but uh, his time, his time is running short, you know, but he's also going to come with that great wrath. But that's why you need to have a covering over you, you know, uh, the covering of uh, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai you don't have that then you know it's over you know there's no protection for you you need to be under that you know get your mind right don't uh don't put your stock in this place like we've been telling you about these bank collapses and, and everything you know this devil man he's he's on his way out man his his kingdom is crumbling just like it did with rome it's happening all over again this is rome 2.0 you know but uh you know, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers, man. Uh, out here that's laboring, man. Continue, you know, keep putting in that work, man. That's what it's all about. Just trying to wake our people up. Whether, you know, you run into people and you tell them who they are, you know, hand, hands, hands on with them. You know, whether they watch the videos, whatever, you know, just, you know, tell your people, you know. But Lord willing, this was edifying. Until the next episode, Shalom.